Hello everyone, welcome back to another reaction video on the JBN Millie channel. I'm JB and today we've got a brand new batch of TikToks to react to that of course should be related to Scooby-Doo. So this is a random handful of videos and hopefully we're going to be giving some good reactions for you guys today. The only kind of things that I will say is maybe a little bit of caution in regards to age appropriateness. Like I say, if there's like insane swearing, I'm going to be blurring that out and of course removing. If there's any too inappropriate content, you know, we know never catered our channel to kids so there's going to be a bit of leniency there but we'll see we'll see how things go on and also if some of the tiktoks are silent or it sounds like they've got replaced music it's probably because it has because like for some reason certain songs it's not just a case of being copyright like striked or copyright claimed but they can actually just be blocked so the video can't be viewed anywhere which you know i don't really want that you know so yeah thank you so much again if you do want to see more of these reaction videos please make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on we do weekly content in regards to interviews and should be daily uploads so we will see so without further ado let's go on with the reaction this is a box of scooby snacks scooby -Dooby -Doo, where are you what is this cover should we do it for a scooby snack huh I'm so intrigued, but the sounds are like... I don't even know if I'm going to have to include the sound, but... Oh, okay. That was oddly satisfying. Hey, I like that one. I like that. That was alright. Oh. oh, that's really making me want to go to a Comic Con. Hopefully, one day we'll find one soon. If Frank Welker comes to October. The film show connects to a bigger theory that we had about this a little while ago. Do you remember that? Yeah, kind of. What about it? Well, before it's any, make sure you hit that hmm. follow button. And if you've been following for a while, type no Scooby Snacks in the comment section below. Um, okay, so how does it connect to the theory? Okay, so the original theory was this, is that in Mystery Incorporated, you remember that? That's the best Scooby-Doo. At the end of that show, they revealed that the Mystery Gang can slip through time streams, creating multiple okay. different maps. So essentially creating a multiverse in the Scooby-Doo world. That's why I'm able to remember every timeline ever created. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but the thing that connects it all happens to be that although the characters... I don't think there is a multiverse connection. I mean, by proxy, multiverses are always connected anyway, but... I don't know, I just kind of feel like every different iteration of the show is its own branch timeline. Like, I don't really believe that it's all connected, but... Eh, it's not bad headcanon. Mystery Machine? What the heck is that? I watch that spooky house that he's doing it in front of. No way! So, how does that work? I, hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, this is definitely, there's gonna be no song on top of this. Just so you guys know, it is the What's New Scooby-Doo theme tune that's playing on my end. I'm gonna to have to remove it here, because that one always gets blocked. But this, this is kind of cute. I think I want to play some Minecraft, you know. Oh my god, that chicken just made it even more perfect. Oh, I love that. Scooby-Doo inspiration, but in my style. Oh, damn. Oh, and she even got the, the orange. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, some of the color, like, the color palettes of the gang were a bit off. Oh, my. I never thought something so recent could make me so nostalgic. Do you guys remember when we used to live stream opening these and stuff? Oh. I read somewhere actually that Playmobil has the rights to Scooby-Doo in terms of like toys and stuff, like as opposed to Lego. So I'm hoping they come out with a season three of these. If they do, mm, I'm gonna have so much fun doing unboxings and live streams. Like that would be the JBN Millie Renaissance. I love that. Oh, story time. Okay, so. 
So we buckle up, get a popcorn. This was the last one. I was about seven and my sister was about five. My whole family had gone to Queensland and we'd um gone to all the theme parks and we went on this ride. Mm -hmm. I had older sisters there and one of my older sisters took me and my little sister on this ride. Obviously you go through and they take the photo. I, being such a cool kid I was, was up here just like sticking the finger. Um, and then we get off the ride and the like ride attendant comes up to us and goes up to my little sister and goes, you're banned from this ride. She's five at this time, right? Five. Banning this five-year-old from this ride. No explanation. Surely you're banned. Um, we kind of you have to pay money to ride. So why not just tell the parents or guardian? Like, I understand banning people from stuff, but... How much money does the five-year-old have? This this is what she did in her photo, right? This is what she did. And they took it as this. And I'm thinking, she's five, girl. And I... I mean, yeah, like, clearly that's not what she was in play. How can you ban a five-year-old from a ride for doing this? Is movie world actually homophobic? <laughs> I don't know a lot. I can't see without them. They should be around here somewhere. I'm supposed to be the smartest character in the show, but I'm sitting in front of glasses that are right underneath me. Where are my glasses? I mean, I can relate to the struggle of losing my glasses, but <laughs> yeah. Bro, did Shaggy find a rubber on the crashed ship? That looks like a rubber. Wait. What? A rubber? Okay, I mean, that was a confusing way to end it. I have no clue what that was. Yeah, I'm not even going to pretend to understand what the heck that last one was about. Yeah, literally, I'm boggling my mind over it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's just kind of the lot of these TikToks. Sometimes you get ones you understand, sometimes you don't. I mean, there are a few that I had to like edit out in like previous ones where they were like ones in different languages and it was quite wordy. So obviously, I didn't understand completely on me because I, in an ideal world, I would know more than a few languages. And I only know one at the moment, which is English, which arguably I don't even do that right. But yeah. You know, I like that batch. I think the best ones are always the ones that you least expect. Like, I was a very arts and crafts centered one at the start, which I really like because if there's, you know, on YouTube with the long form content, I can get my information and stuff. But I do think TikTok's very good for those little projects that people can edit down and condense and just look amazing. Like, there was the Spooky Island head in part one that I really love. And all the art, like, the artwork is amazing. If I can just keep, like stick to the art side of the Scooby-Doo fandom on TikTok, oh, I'm just going to be so happy. Don't know what to make about the story time. I mean, that's something I do want to address. The one about the multiverse. I mean, I know that there's some people that believe that everything's in one coherent multiverse, but it just doesn't make sense for it to be a same timeline. Because, I mean, hey, there are things such as the race swap, which, for all I don't mind, it does mean that it's in a different timeline, surely. I mean, you can be... You can change races of characters that aren't inherently of a certain race, no doubt. But you, as a person, one singular being, cannot go to bed, say, as Halo Kayoko, and then wake up as Linda Cardellini. Like, in terms of that ethnicity aside, it just... It's not possible, you know what I mean? Like, I can't wake up and be like Mark Marsh tomorrow... But there might be a version of the multiverse where I am. You know what I mean? Like, there's all those things. And James Gunn saying that a version of Scooby Doo Where Are You happened before the live action movies. Okay, then that's fine. A version of, not necessarily the exact same word for word. So, I don't know. I do like the theory that all things are connected in some ways. And of course, Crystal Cove by nature is a place that, you know, some spooky stuff happens in. But. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think about the Scooby-Doo multiverse? I personally think that pretty much every new iteration of the show is its own different timeline. Because, you know, I mean, there's multiple origin stories of how the gang met. Like, they can't all be true. So, yeah. That's my piece on that. 
But yeah, comment down below what your favorite TikTok was from this reaction. If there's anything that you want to see us react to next. And I do want to see, I do want your opinions on the Scooby Doo timeline theories. And if you believe it's all connected, if it's just a random multiverse, like, is there a sacred timeline like there is in Marvel? Like, yeah, let me know. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you do want to see more, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.